out of great trials and tribulations. Some of you have come fresh from narrow jail cells. Some of you have come from areas where you're fresh quest for freedom. Left you battered by the storms of persecution. When it comes to racism and guns, people are the problem. Because there are plenty of white folks who support Black Lives Matter with the fucking racist white assholes that go off and it's just like, yeah, 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 yeah. That's all the media focuses on because drama and it, it sells and it's, it's pathetic. Staggered by the winds of police brutality. You have been the veterans of creative suffering. The problem with pr police brutality, as Martin Luther King put it, it's the problem with the individual and the corruption because not all cops are bad. This is going back to what I said earlier, like I'll pour some out for George Floyd while we're at it. You know what I'm saying? It's the truth. That the fucking sugar happy racist white cop asshole is no better than the fucking black asshole who makes their race look bad. But I didn't say that. No. There are plenty of black individuals who make their own race look bad. And it's no different than these fucking white fucking pieces of shit that make my race look bad. That's why I say power to the people. Because it's in our hands to change it. There are plenty of people who own AR-15s and they don't do stupid shit like that fucking cock wipe. You know? To work with a faith that unearned suffering is redemptive. Go back to Mississippi. Go back to Alabama, go back to South Carolina, go back to Georgia, go back to Louisiana, go back to the slums and ghettos of our northern cities. Knowing that somehow this situation can and will be changed. Let us not follow in the valley of despair. I say to you today, my friend, So even though we face the difficulties of today and tomorrow, I still have a dream. Yeah. It is a dream deeply rooted in the American dream. Mm -hmm. I have a dream that one day this nation will rise up, live out the true meaning of its dream. We hold these truths to be self-evident that all men are created equal. Amen. Fucking preach, Martin Luther King. Fucking preach. As long as you ain't a fucking sicko, you're created equal. I'll drink to that. I have a dream that one day on the red hills of Georgia, the sons of former slaves and the sons of former slave owners will they be able to sit down together at the table of brotherhood? I will drink to that, Martin Luther King. I will drink to that. I have a dream that one day even the state of Mississippi, a state sweltering with the heat of injustice, sweltering with the heat of oppression, will be transformed into an oasis of freedom and justice. I have a dream. 
my poor little children will one day live in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. Amen to that. That's exactly my fucking point. Thank you. It's like, why are we judging people based off the color of their skin? We should be judging motherfuckers based off their character. Exactly my fucking point, dude. Fucking Jesus Christ. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day down in Alabama with its vicious races, with its governor having his lips dripping with the words of interposition and nullification. One day right there in Alabama, little black boys and black girls will be able to join hands with little white boys and white girls as sisters and brothers. I yeah, drink to that. Yeah. Exactly my point, dude. Oh my god, this fucking speech is getting me amped up, dude. Fucking yeah. Like I said, Martin Luther King Jr. speeches, I have a dream speech. Where whites and blacks just get along and why the fuck we gotta segregate just because, well, you're black and well, huh, you're white. <laughs> uh. I have a dream today. I have a dream that one day every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rock places will be made plain. And the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed. And all flesh shall see it together. This is our hope. This is a faith that I go back to the South with. With this faith, we will be able to hew out of the mountain of despair a stone of hope. With this faith, we will be able to transform the jangling discords of our nation into a beautiful symphony of brotherhood. Amen, Martin Luther King. This last one is for Dr. Martin Luther King. I chugged the whole six pack for this motherfucker. And I'm already feeling kind of buzzed, I'm not gonna lie. With this faith, we will be able to work together, to pray together, to struggle together, to go to jail together, to stand up for freedom together, knowing that we will be free one day. This will be the day. This will be the day when all of God's children will be able to sing with new meaning, My Country Tears of Thee. Sweet land of liberty, of thee I say. Land where my fathers died, land of the pilgrims cry. From every mountainside, let freedom ring. And if America is to be a great nation, this must become true. So let freedom ring. Oh. Let freedom ring like a sweet, deliciously awesome church bell. Let freedom ring like a church bell throughout the land of liberty and pride. Okay, you gotta have American pride. I don't give a fuck what color you are. This is America. You gotta have American pride, motherfucker. From the prodigious hilltops of New Hampshire. Let freedom ring from the mighty mountains of New York. Let freedom ring from the hiking alligators of Pennsylvania. Let freedom ring from the snow-capped Rockies of Colorado. Let freedom ring from the crevacious slopes of California. But not only that, let freedom ring from Stone Mountain of Georgia. Let freedom ring from Lookout Mountain of Tennessee. Let freedom ring from every hill and mole hill of Mississippi. Yes. From every mountainside. Let, Let freedom, freedom ring. ring. When this happens, 
when we allow freedom to reign, when we let it reign from every village and every hamlet, from every state and every city, we will be able to speed up that day when all of God's children, black men and white men, Jews and Gentiles, Protestants and Catholics, will be able to join hands and sing in the words of the old Negro spiritual, free at last, free at last, I don't give this video a like because that was just fucking beautiful. beautiful.